This video will show you how to measure the distance from a point to a reference line using the IPLEX NX Videoscope's Point to Line mode. Point to Line mode makes it easy to measure the distance from a measurement point to a reference line specified by two reference points. You can also display an offset line parallel to the reference line that passes through the measurement point. This mode is commonly used to measure damage on turbine blades. Make sure a stereo measurement tip adapter is attached to your scope and the serial numbers on the screen match the serial numbers on the scope and tip adapter. The optimal tip to target distance is important for making accurate measurements. All Olympus video scopes with stereo measurement have the unique spot ranging feature that shows you the tip to target distance in real time. The IPLEX NX video scope has multi spot ranging so you can see five simultaneous tip to target distances and instantly know if you are at the optimal position for measurement before you even start. The multi-spot ranging indicator shows the respective distances at each of the five positions between the distal end and the target. You can move this circle or change its size to see the desired tip to target distances. Press the measure button either on the touch screen or on the remote control to start the measurement process. Select point to line from the menu. In this example, we will set a reference line to measure material loss on a turbine blade. For better measurement accuracy, it's important to set the correct reference line, meaning that the two points should be on the same edge of the blade. With the IPLEX NX Videoscope's 3D modeling capability, it's easy to visualize and specify the location of the desired points. To create the 3D model, go to Menu. Select the 3D option and press the 2D 3D button. You can rotate and zoom in on the 3D model in the right hand window to clearly visualize the blade section. To set the reference line, place two points on the same edge of the blade. Notice that when I move my cursor in the left hand window, I can see the corresponding cursor in the right hand window on the 3D model. This is important because the real-time connection between the stereo image and the 3D model enables easy verification. Once you decide on the correct location of each point, press the Enter button on the touch screen or remote to confirm the points. The third point is the one that I can use to indicate the damaged size. You can specify a more accurate cursor position by using the Videoscope's zoom function. Press the zoom button on the touch screen or remote and the image around the cursor position will be magnified. Now you can more accurately choose the measurement point and can select a maximum of three points for each measurement task. If you need to modify any reference or measurement points after making a measurement, select modify from the menu. There is a choice of modifying the left or right image. We recommend only modifying the left image. After you confirm your reference line and measurement point, press enter and the distance between the point and reference line will be displayed. To record the result, press the record button on the remote control. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please refer to the Videoscope's instruction manual for more details. If you have questions, please visit olympus-ims.com or contact your local Olympus representative.